Bon dia, bon dia. How are you all doing? Welcome to this week's video. As you can see, super sunny. If there was ever a reason to move to Portugal, it's the fact that it's it's the beginning of December and it's like shorts and t-shirts weather. So good. It'll be dark in Wales now, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so this week we have had a really busy week. Feels like we've done about 10 different jobs. I'm not sure if we've finished any of them. <laughs> One thing that's been super exciting this week is that we've put another finishing touch to the kitchen. Quite a significant one. Something that we've been without for two years. Yeah, yeah that's about it. Let's get into it.
broken again? Huh? Is it broken again? Thank you. 
Good morning. Um, my plan this morning, as it is another beautiful day here, is to try and clear as much of the vegetable beds down in the bottom garden because tomorrow we're hopefully going to the market in Fundau to get some more plug plants. So yeah, lots of weeding to do.
These are the legends that helped us bring our oven to our house, so uh -huh. good neighbours are always important. <laughs> Sticker for Canon Gina here. <laughs> okay, Portugal. So, so excited to have an oven. The kitchen is a bit chaotic as we're trying to figure out the space now. But yeah, I just I can't wait to make some flapjacks. You might be wondering what us off griders are doing with such a beautiful big brand new oven. I've never bought a brand new oven before. As someone reached out to us and said that they wanted to make sure we had the best oven that we could get that's going to last us for years and that we could cook Christmas dinner in so yeah that's how we've managed to get this amazing oven and they wanted to remain anonymous but someone in our life you know who you are yeah wanted to help us out and we're just incredibly grateful because yeah we probably would have just found like a, the cheapest thing we could second hand there's no problem with that but if you can invest in something of high quality that's going to last for years what a brilliant opportunity so yeah i think i'm going to make flapjacks this weekend and i think we're probably just going to do some things that we've never you know not been able to make for the last two years without an oven like roasting vegetables garlic bread <laughs> easy oven pizza pasta bake what else can we make cottage pie roast potatoes so many exciting things and just cakes in general like you and loves to cook i really enjoy baking i've really missed baking oh, i can make bread yeah absolutely thrilled to bits you know who you are thank you you have made our year <laughs> gonna go back and try and rearrange the kitchen and make some sense of it <laughs> and shiny and new. So fast and shiny. Even lights up inside. So it's uh, fully gas but we do have to plug it into the power bank just for the clicker so, to go. So with the light on it's taking 25 watts Okay. and then with the clicker it goes to 26. So it takes one watt. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we have the oven all beautifully set up here. I really think it looks good in this part. Uh, the floor, because it gets wider here and the oven is quite wide, um, I think it works here because <laughs> as you can see, it kind of gets uh, narrower here. Um, but we are also wondering, so there's the backsplash section, so <laughs> no more. Uh, curry splattered on the walls but we are wondering whether the oven would actually work better here please excuse the chaotic mess yeah we're not sure we're going to need to plan it because we need to build the cabinets so whether to have sort of like an l-shaped cabinet here or have the oven there and just have one long one that reaches up to the sink we don't know yet that's kind of the lucky thing with being able to live within the space before we fully commit to anything is we can keep moving it around and see how things work. You may have noticed that the sofa that is being destroyed by somebody is uh, is getting moved around a lot. But um, here we go. You having fun editing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may have noticed pottering about in our videos I just need to find him. Uh, a new member of the family. This little fella has uh, joined joined our zoo. Um, we don't actually have a name for him yet. Our friend Thomas has called him Oscar, which he does really suit. But we kind of want a Portuguese name for him to go with Diogo, Albi and Joao. Yuan does also want an army of cats all called Joao, so we were just going to call him Joao as well because we love it when we go to um, the cafe because there's a rule in Portugal Yeah, there's a rule in Portugal that you cannot just name your child however you wish there is a list of names that you have to use and it means that you end up with quite a lot of uh, people being called the same name so we just thought it would be quite... a uh, funny aspect of Portuguese life to add to our animal collection and have them named the same because if you go to the cafe you'll often have most people are called Manel, Maria or Joao <laughs> and it's the first selection of them so yeah Yuan was like we we'll just call all the cat Joao but yeah we're not sure so if you have any good Portuguese names uh, that you think he would suit then please let us know in the comments below it's very sunny it's absolutely gorgeous at the moment this weather so yeah he was at our local cafe Oscar as he's currently known and he's super friendly he loves people and we've been up there a couple of nights and he was you know coming up for cuddles and uh, the problem is that he also liked to try and steal people's sandwiches or cappuccinos he likes milk so he was becoming a bit troublesome so <laughs> we said well we've got space for another cat at ours so yeah we have a cat number three though Joao's still not really our cat but he kind of half is when he wants to be <laughs> he's still half wild really but yeah Oscar currently is uh, causing Albie a bit of upset she's not happy that we have another cat but she didn't like Joao to begin with and now they cuddle and she did cuddle him the other night so there we go but yeah let us know what we should call him um another good name suggestion we had was bento which is portuguese for blessing i think um and then i quite like it because it's like a bento box um but yeah throw us your suggestions and we'll we'll see what we can what we can name him Ha <laughs> ha
we will be getting a proper log holder. I can't think what they're called because though it's working, it's probably not the safest, <laughs> but it does, it does the job for now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm pretty sure that this is chamomile, but does anyone know the way to fully ID it? Because we get a lot of pineapple weed as well. And I want to make sure that this is chamomile before I pick some to dry. It does smell really good. Um, and as far as I can identify, this is chamomile. But yeah, let me know if you know. 